हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम इन केमिस्ट्री क्लास बाय विजय कुमार सेठी नाउ विल स्टार्ट द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन साइंस इज मैटर अराउंड एस पेवर एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैटर पेवर सब्सटेंस मिक्सचर होमोजीनियस एंड हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर एंड प्रोसेस ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन फर्स्ट कम टू द मैटर इन द फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट मैटर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फिजिकल स्टेट क्लासिफाइड एज सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस दिस इज कॉल्ड फिजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द केमिकल क्लासिफिकेशन इट इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कंपोजिशन मैटर इज क्लासिफाइड एज ए प्योर सब्सटेंस एंड मिक्सचर प्योर सब्सटेंसेज आर फर्दर क्लासिफाइड एज एलिमेंट्स एंड कंपाउंड and mixtures are further classified as homogeneous and heterogeneous in this chapter we will discuss in detail about elements compounds and mixtures first of all about pure substance for a common person pure means having no adulteration now what is the meaning of adulteration adulteration means impurity or contamination for example if we say that we are taking pure milk now what is the meaning of pure milk for a common person pure milk means it does not contain any impurity is it clear but in terms of science that milk which are pure for a common person is not a pure substance then what is pure substance in terms of science so for a scientist a pure substance consists of a single type of particles that is particles which are same in their chemical nature in other words a substance is a pure single form of matter now on this basis we can say milk or what can say for common person pure milk is not a pure substance in terms of science because milk contains water protein and fats clear now pure substances are of two types elements and compounds detail of these two we will discuss later on examples of elements are carbon silver gold oxygen etc examples of compounds are water sodium chloride etc mixture what are the mixtures mixtures are constituted by more than one kind of pure form of matter in any ratio what is the meaning of this more than one kind of pure form pure form means pure substance as we discussed pure substance are two types elements and compounds now if we mix more than one element or more than one compound or one element with another compound then we will get a mixture you can say a mixture contains more than one pure substance and shows the properties of its constituents and can have variable composition you can say this is properties of the constituents are retained in a mixture they will not lost mixtures are of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous these are the examples of homogeneous mixture sodium chloride dissolved in water and sugar dissolved in water heterogeneous mixtures soil chalk powder in water and sand in water now we'll discuss what is the meaning of this homogeneous and heterogeneous we will take the one example of each homogeneous mixture is copper sulfate dissolved in water copper sulfate is blue in color and when we dissolve this in water we will get the blue colored solution In the same way, solid copper sulfate mixed with the common salt. Homogeneous mixture have uniform composition, while heterogeneous mixture have non-uniform composition. What is the meaning of this uniform and non-uniform? It means composition is same throughout the mixture. This is called uniform composition. And if this composition is not same throughout the mixture, then this is called non-uniform composition. Components are not visible to the naked eye. We can't see the crystals of copper sulfate in this solution. In this case, components can be easily seen by naked eyes. Components can not be separated easily by filtration. If we pass this mixture through the filter paper. whole mixture will passed out through the filter we can't separate the copper sulfate and water but in this case components can be separated easily by 
फिल्ट्रेशन होमोजीनियस मिक्सर कैन नॉट हैव फिजिकली डिस्टिंक्ट पार्ट वाइल हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सर हैव फिजिकली डिस्टिंक्ट पार्ट एग्जाम्पल्स आर कॉपर सल्फेट डिजोलेंट वाटर शुगर सोल्यूशन सोडा वाटर सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स विनेगर एयर एटसेट्रा आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ होमोजीनियस मिक्सर इन दिस केस शुगर एंड सैंड इफ यू मिक्स दीज शुगर एंड सैंड वी विल गेट द हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सर मिल्क इज हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सर इंक पेंट वुड ब्लड इज ऑल्सो द हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सर मिक्सचर ऑफ सोडियम क्लोराइड एंड आयरन फीलिंग्स मिक्सचर ऑफ साल्ट एंड सल्फर मिक्सचर ऑफ ऑयल एंड वाटर दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजीनियस मिक्सर ना प्रोसेस ऑफ फिल्ट्रेशन इफ वी आर हैविंग एनी लिक्विड मिक्सर देन हाउ कैन वी सेपरेट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस दिस इज अ फिल्टर पेपर इन अ सर्कुलर शेप first we will make it two fold fold it from this we'll get this now this filter paper is again folded this is four fold clear now this four folded filter paper is converted into the one cone shape clear this is cone of filter paper now this cone of filter paper is fitted in the funnel okay and then with the help of this glass rod we can put the liquid or mixture which we want to filter okay then the component which will easily pass through this filter paper will collect here and this is called filtrate clear and if any particle or any component which is not able to pass through this filter paper it will remain here and that is called a residue in the previous example copper sulfate dissolved in water all all the components will pass through and we will not we will not get any residue but if we are having like sand dissolved in water if we filter this then water will pass through this filter paper and we will get as a filtrate here and sand will remain here it will not pass through the filter paper and that is called a residue i hope you have understood what are the topics we have discussed in this video and i am sure that you have subscribed my channel if not yet please subscribe my channel thank you